pretty cool, right? Hello, welcome. Today I decided to make a small review on this game called Altered Alma, who just got its very own Kickstarter and also a demo for it. I'll be showing some gameplay and explain each mechanic before sharing my personal opinion. And uh, yeah, that was it for the intro, and uh, let's get into the gameplay. Okay, that's nice. The game starts with Jack falling off here after being chased by some robots. And afterwards you get a tutorial on how to heal with the health pot. Which is pretty nice, cool system, I like, because I see it in other games as well and I liked it there. Anyways, following that, there's this small attack tutorial where I have to break this wall. Afterwards you have to parry an attack from this enemy, which is cool now, but you won't be using the parry at all. It's pretty useless since it doesn't do any damage or stun the enemy, so you're better off just dashing to the right or left. Following this immediately, there's also the checkpoint system, which is cool because it just heals you, and if you die, you go there to respawn. Pretty much everything you'd expect from checkpoint. Anyways, this is where you meet Harry, who was apparently one of the last of the species or something, but I didn't really dig in a lore yet. After walking for a bit, the game gives you your very first fight area where you can like fight enemies, and as a reward you get the C mod, which allows you to break uh, bullets with your attack. After this encounter you enter the spaceship, which Harry is a pilot of, and he's just a pilot in general, which is pretty cool. And in this spaceship, you find the Quantum Blade! Okay, so basically the Quantum Blade allows you to do two things. First of all, teleportation, which is teleporting to walls, teleporting to ceilings, to the ground, to enemies, to whatever actually, I don't, I don't think there's a limit. Oh wait, no, there is a limit, there's a reach limit, I, I forgot to mention that. And secondly, executions. Executions are probably one of the best animated things in this entire game, and that says a lot because this game is very beautifully animated. And executions are basically attacks that you do when you time a hit with the quantum blade, at the moment that an enemy has this red crosshair on them. This means they're gonna wind up for a strong attack, and if you manage to shoot the quantum blade at the moment they do this, you'll, um, yeah, you'll kill them. Uh, yeah, that was pretty much it for the quantum blade, so let's go over to enemies. The first enemy you meet is this junkie guy who just punches you and does nothing else, and uh, he can be annoying sometimes. I don't... Next there's this uh, I'm just gonna call him a drunk dad, who has a execution attack where he winds up then does a swing. This guy, this guy is very annoying because if you throw the blade at the moment he's about to do the swing and not in the middle or something, you'll just take damage and yeah, that's just very annoying. Next there, there's, there's this robot guy who shoots bullets. And he can be annoying if you don't know how to like destroy the bullets, but you can't dash under them, so that's not. Then there's this annoying little shit who just throws bullets at you, and I'm not even gonna bother getting footage of him. They have this cool system too called Neon Powers, which is just abilities named different. And one of them is just freezing enemies around you, which is cool. And the other is a giant blade of fire, which I couldn't get working when I was making this video. Okay, let's wrap the demo review up with the boss, by reviewing the boss. Which, the boss is Red Rosie by the way, and she's pretty cool with her attacks and stuff. I'll go over them right now. Okay, first she has this dashing attack with her sword, where she goes to the left, then to the right, trying to hit you. Next up, there's this small sword attack. You can pretty much ignore this, it doesn't do in a lot. Next up, she has this whip attack, which goes pretty far. I recommend either staying behind her or just spam dashing to the left. 
Next up, there's this laser eye attack, which is pretty cool. Because uh, the guy in the background, I think he's something important from like Spain. What was the name? Sagridi. Anyways, once you beat about uh, two thirds of her health, she'll start upgrading her attacks. Like the fire blade attack would just be a giant blade now. As for the whip attack, she'll gain a clone of herself that goes forward, and that makes her attack very long, so I highly recommend just staying behind her. And finally, the laser eye attack just gets extra bullets next to it. Uh, by the way, normally it isn't supposed to have extra bullets, but I it couldn't get footage of the normal attack, so uh, yeah. Anyways, that's it for the demo, and if you really like this demo, consider backing the game on Kickstarter. It's a very fun game, and they've already reached about 300% of their funding, but for every 20 or $30,000 they get donated, they'll add an extra stretch goal, which is cool. And that's it for the video as a whole. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!